ladies and gentlemen, welcome back another episode of the Future Hour. And today I'm so so excited because I'm finally in the same room with Marcella, the CEO of the Crypto Plaza. And wow, just amazing that I'm here at the office、uh, and to see you and see everybody has such good energy. I know. Thank you so much for being here today and to come to Crypto Plaza to our week. To this week we have like many. Uh, new people like coming,、uh, all the、yeah. startups that are part of the community here with us. So it's great having you here and to know what's happening here in Crypto Plaza,、Absolutely. and to see this place that is so beautiful. Like for our co-working, is very nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and I know that you have so much going on. But before we dive into all that, let me ask you some interesting questions. Maybe that you don't get to answer that much on the podcast, which is. Tell us some of、um, your favorite restaurants in this area, or maybe in Malasania. You know, like, and and then tell us about why. Okay, here in this area,、yes. you have like the top restaurants, right?、Absolutely. Like more expensive one because、yes. here where we are is like the expensive、yeah. downtown part of Madrid. Right. It's like because because my understanding that Salamanca Barrio is like. The Beverly Hills for Madrid or for Spain, right? Yeah, like the Soho, like the very yeah, hill, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that part of、uh, of Madrid. So here、right. you have like all the biggest brands like、right. uh, Louis Vuitton, Hermes,、right. and other ones.、Right. And you also have like the the Michelin star restaurants、uh, nice. here and other restaurants that are a bit more expensive but really nice、mm-hmm. and affordable too,、yeah. like、yeah. in between.、Yeah. So here、Absolutely. is one that I really like. That's called、uh, La Tasqueria. La Tasqueria. I think maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's from Javi Esteves. Is one of my favorite restaurants.、Mm-hmm. Um, they do like all this, like the inside of the animal. You know, like more of intestines and、uh, so, tongue、uh, and brain. I don't know how to call it. Well, you can actually eat them. Yeah, you are, yeah, but in like、yeah. in a fancy way, like in a yeah, different yeah, yeah. way. It's not, it's not gross. It's I, not I, gross. And you can't really even tell, right? No, you will never tell that you are yeah, yeah, eating yeah. tongue. It's like yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. And they have like other things that visually, for some people, for me not, but for some people are very like. They get like a bit、uh, like shock because they serve you like the head of the pig, fried. No way. Wow. And they put、wow. it like in in a beautiful plate,、yeah. and you can eat all the head,、yeah. and it's so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know that heavy, yeah, huh? Heavy. Yeah, that's Thanks for the heavy. heaviness. Yeah, yeah, and that I know people、yeah. like get a bit like shocked when they、yeah. see that, but when they taste it, it's like so great. Yes. So that's one of my favorite restaurants. Very interesting. Really, you have to go. There's other one that's called、uh, Trece, Thirteen. Okay. And it's so nice. It's about、um, like、uh, you know, in every、uh, in autumn or spring or summer, there's always like、uh, when you go and hunt, right? Because for not hunting, like in a way of yeah, yeah outdoor with a gun, no, right? <laughs> but when they go and they have to maintain the population, the population of some animals,、right? they do like. Temporals, they do like seasons, seasons、right? of hunting. So、right. these restaurants have seasons of meat,、ah. so it's always changing. Ah,、uh, so, this is still the Tascaria. And the Trece, it... no, is this is the、oh, other one. Trece, Trece、oh, is、okay. from、uh, seasoning hunting、ah, meat. Interesting. And 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 vegetables and everything. So they just do certain things,、okay. and they are changing the the menu all the time. Right. So it's very nice. They have like. They are very nice when they attend you. When they are serving yeah. you, yeah, they yeah, yeah. are very nice. They have the best.、Uh, here they call them. Chi- bueno, en Colombia los llamamos chicharrón. We call them chicharrón. It's like the the skin,、one. the skin of the the pig,、okay. and that they do it a bit more crunchy. Ah, okay, okay. Here is called.、Uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like the. The "quote unquote" bacon tapa they serve, kind of like kind that, right? Of kind of the bacon, but just like the skin, but, but、okay. and very crunchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. that they have that, and I I love it. And now they have a new like type of bar restaurant that's called Tercio, like yeah, three 
waters, like uh, ah okay okay okay, 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 and it's more like seventy five percent, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, like okay, 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 okay. Like, I know you saw three slash four, like that, right? Yeah, no, like three, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ma, busy, day, day. busy day, busy day, busy day, day, day. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. that's like the name, and you can go on. It's like the same restaurant, but just the bar, and they have like another things, uh, and like great. They have like lobster, what uh, it's called, bogavante, right. like a bun of bogavante. It's great. Wow. You you have to try it. It's so good. Yeah. And well, they have like a lot of like nachos, but with jabalí. Mm. You know this big that is like the one like Pumba. Ah, where is it? You know Havali? Is it it with animal or is it? It's an animal. It's like a pig. I don't know the name. Oh, it's it's a pig with. Yeah, with the the the. It's like the black pig, right? Yeah, the like the black pig. I don't know the name of. Yeah, well, but, we but will yeah, put yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, you will put the, the, the name. Yeah, the we don't know, but it. yeah. it's great. They have like a nacho, so like fancy yeah. nachos, <clears throat> and they are great. Uh, so that like my like two tops here. I want to try other ones. Yeah, that is called uh, Estrecho. I haven't tried it, but it's very popular. It's from it's also in this area. Yeah, it's also in this area. It's from the da- uh, David. Well, is another Michelin star yeah. chef that is is yeah. great i i love him yeah and uh well and there's others like there one that is a bit more traditional that's called casa dani i heard of it, the tortilla de patatas yeah, like tortilla crazy, patatas you know? like the best tortilla yeah. patatas you can have here <clears throat> in spain is there one one of the best because you know everyone has the yeah. best but that's one of the best ones and is like in a market, and it's a very small place. You have to go and eat and like in line, right? yeah, like, have yeah. a line or eat like with just a beer and your slice of tortilla patatas, and it's great. Mm-hmm. It's like the best. If you can go there, go because it's like the best place to go. Mm. And more com- downtown uh, Madrid, I love going to yeah. Malasaña, of course. Yeah. Do you have any some of your favorites in Malasaña? Well, I think in Malasaña, I mostly all of my restaurants are Chinese mm. or yeah, yeah, that's or like fusion, that or kind fusion, of fusion. Right. Yeah, that's my I, Hunan is yes. one. Yes, it's so great. The food is yeah, like yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah, and kung fu. Get ready, we might go to Thursday. Huh? Please, yeah. there is kung fu that yeah. I I love it. They have yeah. like the best service. The people is so nice, and the yeah. the food is very spicy. That I really yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's another place that is really good. Uh, I have also gone to one that is um, my way, that is near uh, there is uh Mexican. Ah, interesting. It's Mexican. It's yeah, yeah so good because right. they do like these tacos but with a bit of a twist ah. a bit more fancy yeah, and yeah, they yeah. are great tacos right, right, right. great tacos yeah and they have like the best michelada that i know many people don't like michelada but i yeah. really like it ah. it's like the beer with the tomato with, okay. juice and like, the mahi yeah yeah it's, it's kind of like also with a, with a layer of some kind of spices yeah with uh, salt that has yeah, yeah, a yeah, bit yeah. of tamarindo. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like the margarita salt. Yeah, it's like, like that, the right? margarita margarita salt is just salt, and this yeah. is like salt with tamarindo and chilies. Yes, 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 yes. I taste that. And taste it's that. so great. Yeah, I really yeah, yeah. love it, and that's a great place to go. And now I'm like getting black. I have gone to a lot of places. Yes, but. I don't know. That's are that are my favorite ones, like in in that part where I normally always go. Yes. Like I have my place, and I'm always like I'm going to this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they are great. Of course, there's uh, where there's a pizzeria. Um, I can't eat gluten. Ah, okay. So ah, that's why. That's why. Yeah, I have like some places where I can go, and there's a place where you can eat like very good pizza. Mm-hmm. And they have like a special place where you can go and eat gluten free pizza, Oof. like the best one, Napolitana. Oof, amazing. Because it's it's very Napolitana. It doesn't taste gluten free because you know when you 
you taste like bread that is gluten free. It's a bit more. I don't know. You, like you could just could that, tell the difference, but yeah, you can tell no, and because of the the taste, like the how you feel the the bread is a bit more. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's not that great, but this one is perfect and mm. it's like the best pizzeria yeah. of Napolitano pizza Napolitano. Ah, uh, okay. Is great. Are they Italian? They are Italian. Italian the people know what to do with their pizza and their bread. Yeah, you have to. You know. Yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. Like if you want to go and eat a good pizza or Italian or Mexican or you have to go like yeah. to the place yeah. where the people that make the food is. Yeah, yeah, it's from like the place. from the place, right? Yeah, right. because well, Colombian places I haven't found I any. Haven't. Still trying to. Uh, there's one person that I call it from Instagram. Like I found her, and they and she bring me like my food. It's not like a place, but oh, she, she made that. She made at her house. Yeah, she made it at her house. She made like yuca, you know. Tell me. Yuca is and like this. Where does this. she live? Where does... Ah, she lives here in Madrid, near, and near, you can call near, near her... this area. Or, or no, I don't know. No, near this area. No, no but no. she always do like the deliveries. Okay, okay. Fine. And you can buy from her like arepas, and there's another. Everything is from yuca, yeah, or from maize from. Corn. Corn, right? Yeah. Uh, or for what is juca? Latin. What is juca? Juca is, is like a, um, like kind of a potato, but it's white, and you know the the, oh, the cover longer one, the, the, longer, the longer, the longer, bigger. It's bigger yeah. and kind of sweet, a little bit sweet. It can be sweet, salty. I, I don't know, and it's like it have like um, brown and very thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you have to really know how to do it, and it's very right. difficult. And she does like these kind of empanadas. Uh, you know, empanadas. Because, yeah, because the, I know the Colombian empanada and the Argentina and the Spanish one are, no, are different. No, you have empanada colombiana, yeah. empanada argentina, yeah. empanada española, empanada um, venezolana. There is many. Greek, okay. Greek, uh, Greek well, there is one, Greek, and Italian, I maybe. think Turkish. There is yeah, one yeah, yeah. kind of empanada. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like this pastry that falls into and have something mm -hmm. inside. So yeah. she do like this great, yeah. and she's yeah. like the best doing some things with Colombian type of food. Right. But right. it's not that easy to find. Yes. A, a good person. Maybe in the future you got to open one, huh? Who knows? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe in yeah. my house. But I always do, yeah. in my house, I do mm. cook uh, Colombian food. Yeah. I I'm cook sure. a lot in my house. I prefer yeah. sometimes cooking in my house than going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know if it's not like sometimes I think is better to pay. It's not how much you pay for the food, it's the quality of the food and the taste that right. for me is important right because you can go to a restaurant that is very cheap yeah. but it, because the food is so bad that it is yeah. expensive because yes. you you are you're paying like for very bad food yeah because that has you know like maybe that slow down your thinking and maybe you know go to go to the bathroom like 10 times yeah and you maybe, know or we just feel like shit you know you don't yeah feel like, you I, feel like can't concentrate no and it's full of oil you know and it, right. it doesn't taste good it's like i prefer if i'm going to pay that i prefer to go to mcdonald's or whatever instead yeah. of paying that uh, instead i prefer paying like maybe it's not the expensive one but going to a restaurant that has a good service and good food right. like what you're tasting is is good so it depends a lot it's not how expensive it is but how good it is yeah i think it's like this like quality of the standards like what you are identify with and what you will it's like a choice right and i think this is <laughs> this is such an interesting twist right because i can see that from your passion about amazing food and enjoying um uh, enjoying the, the type of food that they, that you will like right you have this quality or you have the standard in your mind right and that i can see that from your taste of food and the restaurants you go to and also from what i heard from other people and from what i see today like the quality of the work and the amount of um 
you know, thought and action that you put into the business, which is in, uh, which is in Crypto Plaza. Yeah, right? of course. I think it's, it's in everything you do. You have to do like the best quality service. Right. It's not, yes, I am the CEO, but that doesn't mean that I have to be like just waiting for everyone to do my things. I can work too. I can help. I can be friendly. I can do everything. It's not that I have to be like right. behind the desk and doing just numbers. I don't know. You can do many yeah. things. Yeah. Maybe too many, but yeah. <laughs> or never is too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where where did this like high level of quality or this standard came from? Was it from, you know, from a childhood experience, your parents, or you're always like this? You know, tell us about I, I'm always been like this. And I think it came from my parents right. because they were very like, you have to be very good. Don't, don't, don't procrastinate, do the things well, be very nice to everyone. Doesn't matter who he, the person is. It's not, no, no one is less than you. Everyone is the same. And try to be like the best service you can do being, I don't know, being the CEO, be taking some coffee for someone or being at a reception or I don't know, being helping in a home, like always have to be very nice, say thank you, be very serious about everything you do, like help everyone. And then reflect on my, on my, on myself and my life as well. I think it's, it could be relatively easy, let's say, if you just pick one or three or five or, or a few things to decide, be like, okay, I'm going to do these things greatly. And then it's almost like another level, another paradigm of like when you decide, that, okay, cool, I'm going to do as much things as possible and as great as possible. And whether it's a big or small things. Yeah. And of course, knowing you can't do everything. Right. So you have to really... Re rely on someone else too right. and have a nice communication to know that someone else can do something better than you can do it. You you can't do everything yourself. So knowing that you can have the help or you can, someone else you can pay so they can do the things is important too. Absolutely. Because you can't do everything. Yeah. yeah. Of course, yes, I do a lot, but still I have people that right. I, no, marketing like some people that are really nice people they do the marketing i have uh, all the companies that i know and i'm not going to do everything so yes. that's like my work like right. oh you can do this and you can do this you can go uh, and have like, lunch you can be yeah, like exactly. me you can collaborate i think your service will be very good for this one yeah. and not for free because everything has to be paid you have yeah. to pay because people need to eat people Incent in, how's it? Yeah. Incent incentivize? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so, so they feel more motivated. Yeah. They know that when they're doing their work, they're you know paying their rent, or they're putting food on the um, on the table of their lost loved ones. Yeah, totally. Right. So I think that's very important, always. Yeah. To if you're going to have a service, don't search always like for the free things, because don't, and don't don't always. We're talking about what we were talking about earlier. I right? don't always go after the cheapest option no yeah right? that's because true. because there's so much like, beyond that low price that there's so many more factors that you don't know compared to let's say you go to a michelin star restaurant right totally so sometimes simply it when you go to a place and you see that they have a good treatment to the people that they are working with and they have like good quality products you know that yeah. they are pay, paying a bit more so the people yeah. that grow that products or do whatever with that products have are really good payment so things could be better yeah it's not that we have to pay a lot right. because i do think there's people that are paid too much yeah for what they do and i think their quality <laughs> of what they do is n not reflected in what they right. are doing it becomes like a brand or like a marketing like yeah thing, right? yeah like... and just rely on what you're earning but not giving so right. it's always important to give to to right. receive right so how you mentioned you mentioned something about communication right within the organization right so within your company how do you make sure 
or maybe like some tips when it comes to communication to make sure that so that everyone can come together aligned of keep giving or keep producing more high quality outcome communication tips yeah but one thing that is very important is really to talk with the person and getting to know them because when you know them and you try to have more of a sense of what their life is about or what, what they, they like care, what, do they or what they care about, they care about Ryan, yeah not just like how good they are at the work yeah. because sometimes it's not enough. But when you know a bit a person a bit more and the company of right. also what the service yeah. is, you can really help them to communicate with the, the, the one that really is important. Yeah. Because if you just read like what, I don't know, the LinkedIn uh, says about that company is, is not enough. Yeah. You have to really know what they are going to do to know the person maybe there's people that are, you have like this company that needs a help or something and you have this other that may these three or four that can also give them that service yeah. but maybe because of the personality of this one and the personality of these ones you have to search the one that is more adequate that they are going to really have like a nice uh collaboration because right. i don't know maybe this one is like more zen and this one is a very agitated person yeah and they are not going to get well right. but maybe there is a very agitated person and this is another they will be like more enthusiastic about it yeah so you really have to measure the people getting to know everyone trying to speak trying to know what they are doing and right. then like a collaboration are like more nicely and fluid yeah more so there's more synergy effect right more harmonious yeah and, and that doesn't mean that you have to like everyone i i think yeah. that's a really important thing that you have to know you don't have to like everyone yeah. and you n never have to say everything yes you have to know how to say no and to know right. your limits that's a thing that we talk about last like time, right? last you, time in relationship and in in all relationships, in every, right? work. Yeah, yeah. work relationships is very important too because yeah. you can't say yes to everything because right. maybe you won't like the person or maybe you are not that into what they are proposing to you or you are not that uh, into doing that or you are too busy and you just say yes and you get confused about it. So it's important to know how to say no and to... Yeah know that you have a schedule like everyone right. so yes. you have to be very available yes but available to you you have to work and to give self love and time to yeah. pass the day and to have because if you don't have time to whatever you, you, you is your thing you won't be able to give really for the community so i yes. think you have to have a balance and to know that when i say no not everyone has it's not because I don't like everyone doesn't mean that I don't treat them well, but yes. it doesn't mean I, I that think I that's, have. That's the definition of professional, right? Because it's like example of a doctor or a heart surgeon, right? We have, we expect a heart surgeon, no matter when he or she had the morning coffee, slept well or not, come in and perform the heart surgery well. Totally. Versus... The other case will be like it, it can it just not acceptable when our, oh I didn't have coffee I didn't sleep well last night so you have to we're, we're gonna do another surgery tomorrow right? and that's where the profession yeah. professionalism comes it's in. like yes of course everyone have their mornings or their yeah. days or yeah. everyone ha is passing through a difficult time everyone more more in this time everyone yeah. is like in a difficult time yeah so you have to be like more center about what you are going to give what you're going and and to know that. You have to be professional. You you can be like in a very busy day, like today, my day. Yeah. It's like a crazy day, oh but gosh. it doesn't mean that I'm going to be like all stressed about and saying, ah, don't talk yeah. to me or, uh, or don't, uh, I'm going away or getting yeah, to, yeah. I don't know. It's more like, okay, put like a cape and do like, okay, this day is going to be difficult. I have to deal with a lot of people with a lot of things and you have to do it is like the work and yes. do it nicely because if you do it like in the not nice way you're going to get more stress yes and yes. a bad energy and people yeah, are going yeah. to send that bad energy and they are going to give you back to you yeah, and yeah, when yeah, you are yeah, stressed yeah. but you are nice and you're giving like the nice yeah, thing to the people vibes. yeah think yeah. people will be nice too absolutely absolutely this is this um 
back and forth. Just like um, energy, energy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. ping pong. I I don't know if people believe in their energy, but I do. And you, you mentioned about universe quite a few times last. Yes, last I time. do believe in in giving to the universe a good vibe. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And to yeah. receive it and to give it. Yeah, yeah. Law of attraction, as you believe, so it shall be done to you. Seek, you shall find those yeah, kind of things. Yeah, totally. Right? It's it's not that I'm going to do say that I'm the best, but I I always like being very. You have to work. It's not like I'm going to my work, bed work on and yourself as well, right? Ah, huh? work on yourself as well, right? Yeah, working myself, working for being better, working to have a better service, uh, to give to the people and to give to myself. Right. So and and you, I think when you ask the universe or whatever you believe in, what you really want, when where you want to focus your life, you have to be very specific and yes. to know what you really want. And concentrate yourself to do it, and the universe will give it to you if you really concentrate yourself into what you you want to do. So I think I always do that. So it's not I, I don't think luck. I think I I deserve everything because I work too much, very hard. It's not I'm getting. No, it's not that I am um, being like with you're, my you're, big yeah, ego. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But no, no. I I always say it seems. It's, like, it's more so come from the hard works pays off. I, yeah, aspect, right? it's like I always say, like, okay, I want to do this, and I really want to do this, yes. and I want to know these people, and I want to work here, yes. and I want this job, and I'm going to work so hard, and I'm going to do it, yes. and I always put like my point, focus, my right? focus yeah, on yeah. that, and I'm going to do it. I always ask the universe for like for strength and help and good vibes, and of course, you have to see where the good vibes is. There is not always a good day. There's days that you have to yeah, be yeah, like yeah, more. Yeah distant and try to become but you have to work with that yeah so i always get i always have get like what i wanted yeah but i have always. worked like really hard to get yeah, it yeah 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 um it's like something maybe it's kind of like a quote it's like to put in just enough work or to put enormous amount of work so the opportunity comes you are the most prepared person totally right and people think that's oh, people think, and the media tell the story as like overnight success, but it's never really ever overnight yeah. success because uh, there's a Chinese saying saying that one minute on the stage is like ten years of behind the stage working. Yeah, yeah. when yeah. you work behind the stage, yeah. is much more yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I always yeah. work behind the stage. I love it. Yeah. Like before everything, before the the um, the magazine that I work that I right. told you and when I started working uh, I started having my own um, producer uh, right. company right. when I when it comes to fashion yeah, events or something yeah or, before, or, 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 that, before that ah, before, before that, that I ah. started like with a friend we loved fashion right and we wanted to do like a blog it was the moment of the uh, tumblr you know yes, that moment of tumblr yes, when yes. everyone had like a blog yeah and everyone was a blogger when I I made my own one that was going to be more of a hobby for doing uh, fashion articles and things for brands. Yeah. And when we started, we saw that there was like a lack of campaigns for uh, mm. smaller or independent brands. Yeah. That's why we went into making uh. Uh, pictures and campaigns for small independent right. brands and in all that we also made brand for artists right. and that gave me like the it was just like a rolling when you go with the flow and you see like, yeah. okay here's an opportunity I didn't study nothing of that but I okay I'm going to study something I'm going to read more I'm going to meet people yes. I'm going to every event I'm, I want to be in this place so you go working yourself until you get that was all my work until I was like the producer, the general producer of a magazine. Right. So of course it's like the path, the what we talk like yeah, yeah. the path and destination I want. Yeah. And with, with your example, I really see and I feel like that each success is building on top upon the last one, right? With your experiences, with the people you know, with knowledge you gain, with the things that you've done, the books that you have read, and then it's like yeah, you go right. up, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah. there's a I think and there's I think, a ceiling. And things like that with everybody, right? I talked with yeah. Jesus earlier, talking about he was in fintech for years and years. 
And uh, when the technology is here, and he has been prepared that for like fifteen years in the fintech, right? And then when he sees that, he he studies it, he uh, he's uh, understand it, and boom, he just quit. Yeah, he quit right. and he started, and now he, we are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, like yeah. the same thing. You have to go like with the role. You have to go right, with the right. flow. You have to go and be like very patient about it too, because you can't rush it. You are not going to graduate from university and go straightly to be the director of whatever you want. You have yeah. to work your way up. If you, I think there is a thing that if you are too young and you're just going up yes, from the ask. university yes, yes, very important. and you are already um, being employed like in a direction uh, place, yeah. it's not, you're not going to get like, I think it's not, you're not going to get from there to a good place in your life because you get stuck. I think the path that you do to yourself, the knowledge you get while you are building your life, Mm -hmm. is what is going to get you like to the good place of for yeah, for you yeah, yeah, yeah. because yes you can be like directly being employed like in a great job but you will never see like all the process to see really what you really like the detour the, the view of the detour right? and yeah. the things you learned it's so important you right. know because i know many people that have been like in this place and one day start working and they're Maybe they really good for before big uh, one a big four company for like 20 years yeah and they are yeah. really confused and they are really i i love what you do i love what you have done and it's like you can still do it but i know that if you're young it's easier to Absolutely. do this way i i think you can always reinvent yourself when i came always, here always. i reinvent myself i'm not in fashion i'm not doing pictures i'm not working with anything of yeah. fashion but I still I have all that knowledge of how to do contacts, how to um, make people work together, teams. And there is still knowledge that you can take to your next job to yeah. restart. It's not that you start like rewind, be kind, rewind. Yeah, you know yeah. that movie, be kind, yeah. rewind? Mm, I don't, but it's like, but you're saying that it doesn't have to be when you start something new that absolutely came from zero, right? No. Because you, because this is something about having having faith and being curious and having the high standard, right? Because it's like, you just know that because you did everything before quite greatly, then you have the confidence that whatever is coming, I can learn, I can I make can it happen. It. And, and, and you did. And yeah, you did that. Yeah, of course. And there's a thing that I love that they say a lot in the United States is fake it till you make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, not yeah. that you have to fake it all. But, but more so, I like, pretend, pretend you already have it yeah. till, you till, do it. till you received it. Yeah, totally. Okay, right. It's yeah. not that you never go to an interview and know, say, I don't know to do. Yes, you have to say, like, you first, when you go to an interview, prepare, right. read about the job, what they're asking you. The, the company, the, the culture, company, what they the care culture, about. Everything mission. and the, the tools they are asking you to know. And you can read it. Yeah. And if you see, you know Do your homework. what they are about, sort yeah. of, and you can see your, your own tools, you can use them for that, you yeah. can do it next. Yeah. And you can use them for your life. Yeah, absolutely. So it's just a thing about rolling into these right. things and using what you have and knowing you can say like in an interview, Yes, I know, because some some tools you do know how to use them. Yes, Maybe yes. they have another word and you have to learn like very yeah, small yeah, things. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, if you want that job and you think you have the tools to do it, say you you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, You're going to yeah. learn it. If you yeah. don't really know how to use it, there's a lot of masters and yeah. things and tutorials yeah. in Internet. You can yeah. do whatever you want. Absolutely. I Absolutely. think self-taught, yeah, yeah. you... Yeah. It's not that yeah. in university is not important. I mm -hmm. think it's a great time. Yeah. I don't know. And I think that learning is also a such important skill to cultivate. You know, in this era especially, right? Because who was I think maybe I was talking to Jimmy or is that his name? But anyway, I was talking uh, to Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, I was talking to him and it's like he's talking about his son is about to go to university next year, right? And me and him we start talking about how the university and those kind of structure nowadays in this era that's changing so much, just being a scholar and just good at studying, it doesn't really work and in this era anymore, right? So it's like kind of we need new 
and special kind of talents. Uh, I'm and thinking, and you exactly, kind of think exactly, exactly. And then that is、um, tie back to what you just said. You know,、um, made me think about this, something someone else says that maybe maybe people in their twenties all about making mistakes, right? Kind of making mistakes, and you learn, and then you get a feedback, and you you think about how can、uh, you make things better. Which Ray Dalio will talk about that in his book, The Principle. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah yes, you have to. Be good of learning all the time. Yeah, doing things and know your passions. You can have、right. like what you really like and learn and learn and learn about it and change. And if you want one job and you need to learn something totally new, then、yeah. learn it. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. going to do it. It's not、yeah. like we are not brainless.、Absolutely. That there's people that really have like、yeah. difficulties、yeah. learning, and if you are not one of those persons, there I think. Everyone have the tools and the the brains to do it. Absolutely. So you know, I know you're hella busy. You probably have a meeting come on soon. So finish up with two last questions. Okay. And this question is that tell us some of your favorite books. It could be about a blockchain. It could be a recipe book. It could be a, I don't know, like Harry Potter, whatever, <laughs> whatever, <laughs>、yeah. whatever it is. Tell us. Of course, some of your favorite. My、books. generation is like Harry Potter yeah, yeah. fan. I've seen all of them.、Huh? Every single、uh, one. I know, of, of course, me I read too. Every single one of them, multiple times. Yeah, it's like、yeah. uh, our generation was shaped from yeah, yeah. Harry Potter.、Exactly. It's like there's、Gandalf. nothing. Yeah, Gandalf, everything. Yeah. So there's,、uh, that's the thing. But okay, well, actually, Gandalf is. Can no, I say that? But but uh, the no, professor、uh, Dum- Dum- Dumbledore. Dumbledore, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's the same actor, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah.、Uh, well, just like for a quote, there is a very funny thing here、yeah. in Spain that you're going to hear. Tell me, tell It's me. It's like they always like made the Spanish version of everything. Yeah. So Hermione,、uh-huh. they call them, call her Hermione. Hermione.、Ah, It's like、really? how you read it in Spanish. Ah, Hermione. Hermione. It's it's very strange and it's very funny.、Mm-hmm. It's like why Hermione is called Hermione, but well, that、mm-hmm. that's just、uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one of my favorite books is El Olvido que seremos. El que seremos. Yes. It's from a writer that's called Hector Abad Fajolinse. Right. It's a, a Colombian yes、uh, writer that I really love. Is like and that book now they have like a movie, so you can go、ah, and see the、amazing. movie. And the book is so great; it really touches you, like you cry all the the book.、Hmm. And there's another one that's called Patria. Yeah, I think it's called Patria. Yeah, and it's、uh, from the Euskadi, from El País Vasco. Yeah, is that the book?、Spain. Is that the book that really recently they turned that into like a HBO series? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that was it, right? Like, pa- yeah, Patria, like Patria is Patria. about.、Uh, Everything that was going on with Eta, yeah, and and how the youngest people came into this, and more about like the families and and all the difficulties they have、uh, between this thing that was in 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 when it started was more of a reivindication of El País Vasco, and then、mm-hmm. it gets all like corrupted and、yes. was this other thing and how this young boy. Um, came around and and see like what everything he did was not for his really belief but for higher、um, people that were very corrupted. But it's、yeah. it's very interesting and I think yeah, explains yeah. a lot about、uh, that country, like yeah, well yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, that the, 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 that city that, that place, now, yeah, yeah that yeah. place. País Vasco. Yeah, País Vasco. So yeah. it's really great and because of my family heritage,、yeah. I have like. Two nationalities. I'm from Spain. Ah, I'm from Colombia, ah, and my family、right. came、uh, from Spain, like、right. when they were in the、right. civil war, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. in middle yeah. of um, yeah. uh, what、well, yeah. does a forties? Yeah, 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 yeah. So、okay. yes, that's、Absolutely. the thing. That so, so that's like the well, that's some books that I really like, and of course,、uh, I love Oscar Wilde. Yeah. You have to love it. Most of them, El Ruiseñor y La Rosa. I don't know how they are called in English. Some of them. Yeah. I really like、fun. Will Tennessee. Yeah.、Um, this one that is、uh, the train and、um, I also forget. I'm so bad with names. So, yeah, yeah. But I like Will Will Tennessee. So it's very good. Yeah. So well, there's a lot of books. I think there's moments in life. Yeah. Where I really like 
uh, some right. books. And there's one of Almodovar. Yeah. Um, that's called Kika, I think. Well, it's very good. He has yeah. like one book and it's so great. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. like Almodovar, it's a yeah. great book too. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to ask you to write down like some of these names again. Yes, yeah, I'm like, going to send you yeah, the yeah, list, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. can have it Absolutely. because I really love that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to amazing. remember, as I have so many things that I'm yes. forgetting everything. Yeah, it's amazing. It's very interesting. Um, I believe having like a lot of interests and different passions is always like actually coming back to make your professional life more productive, more inspired and more colorful right totally. so so with that said what you're doing here at crypto plaza and what you're doing here in your life in general right? what are something or maybe one or two things that you're mostly passionate about okay now here in crypto plaza <laughs> one of the things that i'm most push passionately about yeah, is uh getting to know more about the crypto ecosystem uh, right. I, that was something that for a financial ecosystem for me was right. what we talk about right the past it was something like so uh, far for me yes. and now i'm so passionate about really trying to know what is about yeah, yeah. Uh, trying to know how i what i can do and what this really can help like the word like our orange yeah. bill that we yeah, talk about yeah. Th this new possibility of like creating something from from scratch and from super super new that is technology only being around like 12 13 years yeah totally right. and uh, well everything that they have done and all the possibilities that there are so although today is like going yeah. very yeah. down yeah. Yeah. but i think it's like i'm not afraid i'm not like yeah. this it's anxious. not the end of the world it's not Come the on. end please yeah. hold be don't be scared yes yeah it's exactly. okay everything exactly. is going the sun will rise Yes. again yes absolutely, absolutely so i think that's one of my passions now like right. in learning more and learning a lot of all the people that are here with me because i'm learning about uh developing right. uh, about financials about yeah. uh projects that are really good for humanity right. absolutely uh well a lot of things that I, i'm really passionate about in this moment and also about food <laughs> Yes. like cooking in yes. my house doing recipes oh uh, i i'm really passionate about it yes. that and and exercising yeah i'm so passionate i was never like an exercise person ah. i never i always had done some kind of exercise in my life what but changed i don't know pandemic ah, for me it was pandemic yeah, right, yeah some people were like pandemic make them stop doing ex exercise yeah, yeah but yeah. for me it was the thing that i think that now I can get out of the house. Me. How can I do more? How can I make yeah. the most of my space? Not that I'm not going to move yeah, because yeah. I love moving. I love getting to the public transportation ah. and walking and yeah, seeing yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I was not going to be able to do like that kind of right. uh, part of my day. That was like the part when I did click and disconnect right. or connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to do something that helped me do that that transition and was exercise and i really wow. love and now i have like my muscles yes i yeah. do it's real huh? everybody is real i do i yeah. do it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, impressive yeah and i never and this is all in my house and it's still yeah, yeah, yeah. although i can go to the gym and the yeah. gym or whatever yeah. but i still do it in my house right yeah. i put my yeah. video i have like right. the one that i really love you have, yeah you know when people do exercise in their house they have like their a youtuber that put on a tv like. right they're doing yeah. a with right it's almost like you have a trainer at your yeah. house or you have a gym pal buddy yeah and i try a lot and i found one that i yeah. really love and is yeah. the one that makes me go like really amazing, amazing. and i love her i'm yeah. going to pass you the yeah. the link it's called the heather notes. robertson is the yeah. best i i really i have muscles because of her Shout out no, to Heather. You know, Shout out to Heather. And uh, because I can balance my life between right. food, exercise, work, right, and I'm so happy in this moment. That's like my passion in this and my love life and family life. That's amazing. So I think that's my thing now. That's really amazing. And knowing more people. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I love speaking and with everyone. Sometimes yeah. it's like, okay, I have to be quiet. Oh, no, I, no, no. Do you know how you have to know how to be quiet and yeah. listen yeah, yeah, yeah. but i i love it like expressing myself and talking to everyone so that's my thing well no absolutely and i would like to acknowledge you in a way if it's possible on the behalf of 
people here, you know, and the people <laughs> have met and were the people you're gonna meet in the future. You know, you have this such passion about what you do and this genuine and kindness and curiosity with the big and the small things you do, right? And you are like open minded, you are willing to collaborate with new people, you know, like the last episode of the podcast we have done. So I want to acknowledge you for that. I want to, you know, say that I personally and we all appreciate you and uh you know keep doing amazing things and together i genuinely believe that people like me and you and all the audiences out there we are together building a brighter future so yeah me too i think we're going to do a very bright thing for the future for us and for the generations uh, to come absolutely and thank you for coming That's and being so nice it was like so yeah. like good energy it was like yeah. i don't know this person but yes i'm going to do this uh, podcast and was like when we talked was like of course I, you yeah. have to come here yeah. it's so nice and everyone have been so happy to have you here and to talk with pleasure. you so great having you here i hope you have you all the week oh, oh my, well, as much as you can yeah yeah definitely definitely i am i am to come you know every at least once a week before you know if before i start going on hectic travelings uh. and adventures yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes please absolutely okay and thank you so much everyone. thank you so much and stay tuned this Bye. is the future hour like our orange yeah. bill that we yeah, talk about yeah. this, this new possibility of like creating something from from scratch and from super super new that is technology only being around like 12 13 years yeah totally right. and uh, well everything that they have done and all the possibilities that there are so although today is like going very yeah. down yeah. but i think it's like I'm not afraid. I'm not like yeah. this. It's anxious. not the end of the world. It's not Come the on. end. Please yeah. hold. Be don't be scared. Yes. Yeah, it's exactly. okay. Everything's exactly. going. The sun will rise yes. again. Yes.